Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Bouncy Bullets 2. Now this was developed by Petite Games, published by Rattalika, and is available for $4.99, but is only $3.99 at the time of this recording. So this just plays as a sequel, basically, to Bounty Bullets 1. We need to run, gun, and bum our way through various angry-looking, like, tree stump enemies or something, whatever the hell they are. Anyway, it is a fun game, easy too, but it does require a small, deft amount of skill to get this one done. Now, achievements and trophy-wise, luckily we don't need to play the full game. Uh, we need to play 10 levels on easy, 10 on medium, 3 on hard, and just do one speed... Uh, speed run level, and the other achievements will drop like diarrhea flies. Now overall, depending on deaths, etc, you may be looking at around 15 to 30 minutes to complete. So with all that being said then, let us begin this one. And if we just go ahead, press English or whatever your preferred language is, we're going to click on Classic Mode, Easy World, and level one. Now, this is basically exactly like Doom, except it plays nothing like Doom or looks like Doom whatsoever. So, as we begin, we're going to head left over this blue bridge. Uh, this is basically just a couple of tutorials. So, you press the A button to jump, grab this golden nut sack right here. You got those golden balls, baby. Those golden nuts. Head to the portal then, <laughs> as you can see, and that'll be um, easy level one done. Now, there are pink and yellow enemies, so right trigger shoots the pink, and left trigger shoots the yellow. So, obviously, pink goes on pink stink, and yellow goes on yellow belly. So, head round, you're going to unlock a couple of achievements right here, and that'll be the second level done once you go up the elevator. Or magenta, sorry. I'm going to call it pink, because I can't be arsed with magenta. So, with the third level, then, uh, just go to the left right here. There's only really one path for a majority of the time that you can take. Don't worry about this guy. This is not an enemy. He looks more like a frozen Lego head. Uh, jump up onto this platform. Onto the next one. We do have, I believe, one enemy that we are going to destroy. We jump down. Make sure to jump here because there is a gap. Head round to the left. And we can just head through the portal. And as I said, there was an enemy. There actually wasn't. But now we're going to come up to more enemies... Um, as we progress a little bit further as well. So keep going left and then straight up to this platform. Boink! And then just nip up to the next one. Boink! Right, quickly use the left trigger then to destroy the yellow one. Of course, try and avoid, um, obviously, all the enemies. And jump over the fire as well. Because if you get hit once, that means you die. And you've just got to restart the level. Um, head round. Make sure to jump over this gap. You should have enough. And that'll be that for this level then. So... It is easy enough, it is the sort of last few medium levels and hard levels which do get a bit freaking annoying, man. But anyway, for this next level, let us just go around to the left. Now, you, you can destroy these rockets if you want, it's probably easy to just jump over them. Uh, but be careful here, because one will come flying past you, I got lucky with that. And shoot the pink guy to death, of course, with the right trigger again. Now, with the black enemies, you've got to actually bounce it on the ground. And uh, destroy any black enemies like this. Which, I mean... <laughs> hey, where did the black enemies get all the uh, toughness from? Well, that must be pure steroids, which... Well, I'll tell you what, if, you, if you're that hard to hit, then... Hey, I'll take some steroids, please, sir. Anyway... <laughs> no, just joking. I'm as skinny fat as they can come. Anyway, we're jumping up. Uh, don't worry about the enemy up here, that is fine, we can just jump past him. Uh, there is one enemy, one yellow enemy here, so make sure to destroy his ass. And the portal, if we head to the right, jump over. And make sure to very quickly get rid of that yellow enemy. He can uh, hit you in the head very easily, but that one is that. So the, uh, these levels, they do come by and they f <laughs> fly pretty much quite fast. But uh, on to the next one. So, uh, for this one, you don't actually have to kill anyone. If you head to this back corner where I am, and literally just stay here, there are two enemies that will shoot you on the way up, but they will actually miss you. As long as you stick stick your ass directly in this corner where I am, as you can see, somehow it just glides through this elevator like it was nothing, and like nothing was there, so that's a win for us, baby! 
Obviously head up onto the platform so you don't get your ass spiked by spikes. Turn around, jump up on the platform, jump on any one of these platforms to end the level. Happy days, people are not crying. We are good. Jump over so you don't um, die in the water, Assassin's Creed 1 style, where you can't swim for some reason. Head through the corner and kill the yellow and the pink guy. And that is how I would um, proceed with all levels. Proceed with a bit of caution and shoot from afar if you can. Just makes it easier to dodge there, your bullets. Uh, jump up on this platform. Avoid this bit of red right here. And as we go down, not this one, but this second one, just before the door, this is where the portal is. So you will die if you go through any of the other ones. A lot of death in this game. A lot of unnecessary death. So it kind of plays like Doom in that way. Anyway, head to the right here. And we're going to turn the corner ever so slightly. Again, jumping over, avoiding the water, and avoiding these saws. Who the hell's putting these contraptions in? Right, wait until the laser goes. And then what you have to do is obviously jump over it. I got quite lucky. Jump over when you see it. Head to the portal. Nice, mate! You're doing goddamn fantastic! Right, immediately as we go to the corner, there's going to be a black enemy. So, immediately, this one may take a couple of tries, but there is a one that also changes pink and yellow, so you'll have to just shoot both, whatever's easier for you there, but just try and avoid those two. Kill them both. Uh, you can actually just run straight past here, and again, there's going to be another black enemy and another yellow enemy, pink enemy down here, or just pink. My bad. Anyway, head round, and that is where the portal is. And that actually concludes the easy part of this game. So, hopefully it's still going. If you've already uh, rage quit, go get yourself a cheeky brew, have a cup of tea, have some food, chill out and come back. Otherwise, we can just crack on with the medium stuff. And it's not too bad. Again, a couple of these levels may take you one or two tries, but genuinely... It's quite easy when you know the route, so we're going to head round, and then down to the left. Head down, there's some flames, obviously, you're going to have to watch your ass on these flames, because that shit burns! Head up, and now head up again, there is going to be an enemy up here, so get the, the pink enemy, or magenta, sorry. And there's going to be another one just to the end right here again, yellow this time, so smash him with your yellow brick. And life is good, and that's level 1 out of 10 for the medium boys done already. Couple of jumps, happy days. Now this level is quite nice actually, we don't actually have to kill anyone if you don't want to. Uh, if we head to the left and keep going straight over right here, you can see this kind of uh, Mario style um, thing that we go into. I can't read the tube, pipe, whatever the hell you want to call it. Head to the left as we get up here. And then we're going into the next Mario style tube. Bloop. Okay, from here we can just go up onto this little platform. Go to the left once again and you can already see the portal on the left. So, this isn't too bad. Um, head left and there is the portal. So, you can kill a couple of enemies if you want. But if not, you know, we're just trying to get this done ASAP, man. So we're going to have to be avoiding some lasers on this one. So wait until it starts going ahead of you right there. That should be plenty of time. And just run, run, run. And then we're going to do a jump. But make sure there is a pink eye on here. So get your gun ready and shoot, shoot, shoot. There it is. And that should be fine again. Just avoid. I got quite lucky with the laser there. Jump over. Jump over again. Again, I got quite lucky, to be honest. Rode my luck with that one. But, uh... You know, that's how you finish the level. So as long as you know, huh? So this is uh, this one's a bit of trickery. We're going to head straight up to the elevator. But immediately as we turn the corner, there is going to be a yellow enemy. So make sure to get your left trigger ready. Just around the corner, there it is. So get him. Now as we head up to the next elevator, you can go around, head up to the next one. But there is going to be a pink guy as we turn around. So make sure again to get your gun ready. And it is this guy. So it's a pink and yellow one. Uh, sorry with that one. But the pink guy is going to immediately appear here. So try and jump up and then just shoot, shoot, shoot. There that one is. And then this one we can actually avoid. If we head just head to the left corner where I did, as you can see, big old black guy enemy. Um, well, we can just skip by him. He can just enjoy his life like he always wanted to. Then again, since they haven't got any legs or anything and they can't walk, that's not a life that you want to live. Anyway, head left here just over this bridge full of water. 
and we're just going to keep following the path but what we can do is immediately just as we get around this corner just immediately go onto the platform and jump up we can avoid that pink guy altogether and then just head straight down to the portal and whack a mole baby that is another level done right moving on now there are two black enemies here so we actually do need to kill these guys so be nice and good with them head to the left jump up to this portal uh, now what you can do is actually just jump on these purple bits and then jump onto the castle. If you do miss, that is also fine. You've just got to avoid a couple of lasers down there. Um, if you did miss jumping on the big purple sort of arch things, uh, there were just lasers down there, so that one is fine. So heading on to the next one, jump across and go across the blue uh, bridge here, destroy these pink boxes. And we've got a couple of pink enemies that we're going to destroy. Here's the first one. And then as we turn the corner, there's going to be another one at the other side. Just stay here. Keep your distance so you can avoid their um, bullets a, li a lot easier. Same with this one then. Another enemy. So kick his ass, man. Uh, old Doom guy or Bouncy Bullet guy, we're going to call him. Because, again, this looks nothing like Doom. And that is the next level done <laughs> anyway. So now we can move on. So immediately go to the left. And then jump over. Um, you may get... I got extremely lucky with that one. Uh, but when you get there, jump up to the pole. And we're going to just kill two enemies here on the right and the left. So kill those guys. Hopefully you're a better shot and a better aim than I am. Because I suck donkey bows. And then we can just jump down to the right. Again, I got extremely lucky with not dying on this one. Uh, so I advise to take your time if you're not feeling as brave and lucky as I was. Before <laughs> heading into the portal. Yeah, I must have had my ball sack in Weetabix. Anyway, go straight forward and keep avoiding the rockets just by jumping over them. Simple to jump over. And then, as soon as you get here, try and stick with the left-hand wall as much as you can. Head to the back and jump up the portal. Enemy, kill a pink enemy down here. And then as we turn the corner, uh, we can hit the portal and end that level. So some are a lot easier than others, but we're going to go straight. We're basically rushing as quick as we can. So jump on here, straight to the other tube. Just go straight away to the next tube so you don't get shot and die. And this one you can actually kind of take your time with. But that one is one of the easier ones. But that is medium world done. Look at us, guys. We're flying this ship, man. But we do have three hard levels to do. And the hardest one out of these is probably the second level, to be honest. But it's not so bad. So avoid the lasers here. Now, there are four lasers. So just follow it around and then jump up onto the platform. Kill the pink guy here straight away and then head to the left. If we head back up this platform, kill this pink guy as well. And we can just jump straight in the middle, trying to hopefully avoid um, all of the other little bastards. Gunfire. Sorry, I completely forgot what I was trying to say there. I completely forgot what I was trying to be called. So here is, for me, the most annoying level in the game. We need to jump up and kill this yellow guy right here first. And as we turn the corner, there's going to be a lot of these pink guys on the wall. So try and kill as much as you can before heading on this moving platform. Um, if you can kill as many as you can here, it just makes it a little bit easier for you. But as we go to the lasers, just go through this gap. There's going to be another pink guy, so make sure to kill him as well. And there we go, head through to the next gap, and just keep doing that. So avoid it, the lasers by going through each gap. Gosh, you're good at this game. God damn it, you turn me on. And then what we can do is just head round, avoid these rockets. Now, I, I wait for this second one, and then make a blast for it so we can jump up onto the platform. Job done, and that is the, set of the platform done. So again, it wasn't too bad, but it was the pink guys on the bloody walls that were pissing me off. So starting hard level 3, immediately kill the guy in front of us, avoid the saw, and then just jump over these couple of gappy gaps. Now what we need to do, what we're going to do is kill the yellow guy, but jump straight down into the hole in front of them. So make a jump for it, kill the yellow guy, and just jump straight down. Don't, No point pissing about there. And then just quickly go back and forth, trying to just uh, bounce this enemy off. Ooh, nearly got shot in the head. Avoid this laser, wait for the gap for the next one, and jump through. Lovely. I actually fell off this elevator here, so, you know, try not to do that. Now we, And we're going to need to make a double jump across this bridge, so bump, bump, because that disappears pretty quickly. Uh, there is an enemy shooting, but you can just avoid him. Um, shoot these yellow and pink boxes. Uh, jump your way over. And then that will be the end of the hard level three. My god, you've done it! 
So they did ramp up the difficulty from the first one, but uh, thoroughly enjoyed getting pissed off at some of these levels, in, in all fairness. But that is that. Now all we've got to do is just one more speedrun level. So quit out to the main menu, go into speedrun mode. Choose easy mode, of course, and then we're just going to choose level one. It's basically it's literally going to take us 10 seconds to complete this one, and then that should be the end of the game. So to the left, over the bridge, to the left again, where you're going to find your golden bowlicks, or where we did. And we can just head through the pole, and that will be the end of the game. So, well, how did you find Bounty Bullets 2? Was it a bit better than the first one? I personally found it was. I thought that was a very uh, decent little game there. Uh, not very much like Doom, but, you know, still pretty decent enough. But, uh, yeah, that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and that it did help. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out my socials as well, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon as well. A big huge shout out by the way to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and a huge shout out for everyone for their uh, continued support and interaction uh, regardless. So thank you so, so much again guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. B -b -b Big love.